Ang, ang isang tao sa isang bagay, sa democratic naman is meron silang freedom of choice. Number one, gender. One of the oldest areas where inequality, exploitation, and oppression, oppression exists is in gender or sexual identity. Gender bias refers to a prejudicial lack or attitude towards males or females. So, alam naman natin ang gender bias. Meron kayang gawin ng babae, hindi kayang gawin ng lalaki. At meron din kayang gawin ng lalaki na hindi gawin, kayang gawin ng babae. Halimbawa ng isang to na magbuhat na may bigat na bagay o trabaho mabibigat tulad ng construction na minsan mo na may kita, mga babae ay gumagawa na ito. A matriarchal society is characterized by female rule or female dominance, including women's control of property. So, sa matriarchal society naman, ito ay pinagkakaracterize ng mga babae at ang babae ang nag-rule dito. Para siyang um, female club, para siyang ganun. A, so- a matriarchal society, on the other, other hand, is where descent or lineage, birthright, and social classification are traced through maternal rather than paternal lines. A patriarchal society demonstrates the same unequal treatment between males and females, this time in favor of the males. So dito naman, pinapakita ang unequal treatment sa pagitan ng babae at lalaki. Di ba nga, pag ganun, um, Merong mga times na hindi talaga unequal talaga ang treatment ng mga babae sa lalaki. Pag sinaktan ng lalaki ng isang babae, uh, parang haras na yon Pero pag babae na parang pabiru, uh, sinaktan ng lalaki, parang biru-biru lang. Kung ayun yung sinasabing unequal treatment. Number two, wealth distribution and poverty. The, widen- the widening gap between the rich and the poor. The diminishing number of the haves and the increasing number of the have-nots. And the widening areas occupied by the homeless throughout the world are only a few of the negative impacts of undemocratic practices in income distribution, which is one of the major causes of poverty. So, as a wealth distribution and poverty, monti ang nagkakaroon ng haves kaysa uh, dumadami ang nagkakaroon ng haves. Not dumadami ang um, kahirapan at umuunti ang mayayaman dahil sa um, pag, uh, maling pag-distribute ng um, kayamanan. Number three, race relations, suffrage, and political marginalization. Unless revolt by law, every citizen is entitled to exercise suffrage or the right to vote people to whom he or she entrusts the authority to govern. However, there are societies and government that discriminate against individuals and groups by virtue of ethnicity, race, religion, and socio-economic background. But it is a race relations suffrage and political marginalization. So, lahat ng Pilipino, lahat ng tao may karapatang bumoto. However, mayroong mga societies or government na dinidiscriminate ang mga tao or individual sa pagboboto dahil sa kanilang um, ethnicity, race, religion, or socio-economic background. Number four, cultural domination, domination, representation, and the politics of recognition. In a society nestling multicultural, multireligious, and multiracial population, domination by major cultural or ethnologistic groups over cultural communities, or formerly called minority groups, is not surprising. The major cultural groups enjoy more government support and priority while the opposite exper- is experienced by those belong to cultural community example na ito sa probinsya. Sa mga magsasaka, ang malaking grupo, sila yung unang nagawa ng Uh, nabibigyan ng government support and priority kesa sa maliliit na cultural minor group. Democratic Machination of Institutions
Usually, democratic inclination of institutions, it is the government that is subjected to assessment regarding its quality democracy or its tendency towards strong adherence to democratic process. There are existing research, bodies, publications, and agencies evaluating governments and regimes, each having its own set of criteria. Number one, max range. It is the data set that ana analyze political re regimes and democratization process of the 18th century to the present, making it is the largest and the most comprehensive political regime data set in the world today. Max range data set is the creation of Max Range and, and Mikael Sandberg, who are both associated with Halmstad University in Sweden. So, Max Range is a data set in ranking. It is a set of data ranking the level of democracy and its, and its institution structure. It was developed by Max Range and it's maintained by Range and Mikael Sandberg. They, so, Range and Mikael Sandberg, they are both political scientists. So, Max Range, it is the first such analysis of the political systems from the 18th century to the present day. Number two, Democracy Index. It is an, in, it is an evaluation of the state democracy of countries. It is published by the Economist Intelligence United based in the United Kingdom. Democracy is a core value on the United Nations. The, the UN supports democracy by promoting human rights, development, and peace and security. The Democracy Index is an index compiled by the Economist Intelligence Unit. The, so, EIU or the Economist Intelligence Unit means that the research and analysis division of economist group providing forecast and advisory service through research and analysis such as monthly country reports five-year country economic forecast country risk service reports and industry reports number three international idea which is based in stockholm sweden evaluates the country's quil the country's quality of democracy the economy idea stands for institute for democracy and electro electoral assistance the four main pillars of the frameworks are number 1 citizenship and law rights number 2 representative and accountable government Number three, civil, social, and popular participation. Number four is democracy beyond the state. So, the International Institute for Democracy and Electoral Assistance, it is an intergovernmental organization that works to support and strengthen democratic institutions and processes around the world to develop sustainable, effective, and legitimate democracies. Number four, Freedom in the World is an usually survey published since 1973 by Freedom House, an NGO based in the U.S. It ranks countries by political rights and civil liberties, mostly de derived from the Universal Declaration of Human Rights. The ratings are then combined to get an average called Freedom Rating which notes the status of the country as free. So the Freedom in the World Report is considered of numerical rating and supporting descriptive text for 195 countries and 15 territories. Since 1973, Freedom House has assessed the condition of political rights and civil liberties around the world. It is used as a regular basis of poli of policy makers, journalists, academics, and active activists, and many others. Safeguarding democracy. There is a tendency for democracy to corrode if not protected and nurtured. 
Democracy can be eroded if abused. Maaaring masira ang demokrasya kung patuloy itong aabusuhin. Democracy has to be strengthened and safeguard, safeguarded against internal abuses and external attacks. The vulnerability of democracy seems to be at its lowest in politics and mass media. The best political structures will not work well if the elected representatives act according to their personal interests, oblivious of the democratic principles they promise to uphold, and forgetful of the plight of their constituents. Take the case of the Marcos regime in the Philippines, 1965 to 1986, when President Ferdinand Marcos declared martial law in 1972. During his second term, the democratic principles he sought to uphold were disregarded, if not trampled upon. Human rights were violated. Congress was abolished. Political rivals and protesters were imprisoned, and chronic capitalism was developed. Ang mga prinsipyong demokratiko ay hindi pinansin ng pananindig, paninindigan ni Ferdinand Marcos. Nilabag ang karapatang pantao, tinapos ang kongreso, at ang mga nagpaprotesa ay nabilanggo. At nabuo ang crony capitalism. Crony capitalism involves business people and government establishing close, self-serving friendships and bonds that influence the economy and society to the extent that their bonds corrupt the economic and political ideals for public service. McCormick, 1981 So, chronic capitalism is demonstrated by favoritism in distributing legal permits, government grants, special tax breaks, or other benefits granted by the state to business people close to the president. Its impact on Philippine society included the, depri the deprivation of some sectors from enjoying the support of the government, which led to their poor marginalized state. So, yung example ng chronic capitalism is food stamps, Medicare, Obamacare, tax policy, affordable housing. One non-profit international organization that created the program to look after democracy is the Social Science Research Council based in New York. Social Research Council is a U.S.-based independent international non-profit organization dedicated to an advancing research in the social science and related disciplines. Mass media serve as potent tools both for upholding and destroying democratic institutions. Responsible, corrupt, and dishonest media practitioners can create a misinformed populace. When people are misinformed, they are unable to make an informed opinion and judgment regarding issues. Thus, the media must guard their ranks against unscrupulous co-workers who serve not to uphold democratic ideals. So, mass media, ito yung mga napapanood natin or yung naririnig. Ito yung mga balita na napapanood or naririnig. So, sabi nila, minsan daw yung balita is tama, minsan daw yung mali. So, parang nagsusugar coating. So, katulad na lamang Sabi, katulad na lamang nung ABS-CBN, sabi doon nila, yung mga balita daw doon, yung mga sinasabi doon ni President Duterte, hindi daw, hindi daw na ibabalita ng buo doon, parang kulang-kulang, parang itinatago daw, ganun. Tapos yung sa GMA naman, parang, ay, sa GMA naman, nailalathala ng buo. Infotainment, which refers to combined information and entertainment, is perceived to overshadow the serious delivery of information about issues concerning public interest. Info so, infotainment, also called soft news, is a type of media, usually television, that provides a combination of information and entertainment. The term is usually used disapprovingly against more serious, serious hard news. I'm going to discuss